I'm Linda Paul and today's art tutorial I'm going to show you how to paint a dragonfly on the back of a piece of glass and then silver it. This is really easy to do. I'm going to start with just a drawing I've done of a simple little dragonfly on a piece of paper. Then we're going to take a piece of 4x4 glass that's beveled and we're going to paint on the back of the glass because we are going to see this through the front of the glass and the third step we're going to do is silver the back of the glass. So I want to make sure this is really clean. So I'm going to clean the back with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol that you can get at any drugstore or grocery store. Nice and clean. Alright, we're going to put the glass on top of our drawing. And today we're going to use one of my favorite new products which is this Golden High Flow Black Acrylic Paint. It's sort of a mixture between India ink paint and super high flow. Uh, I like to add it to these little squeeze bottles that I have and put a little squeeze guy on the top. Now these squeeze guys I have come in different sizes for super narrow flow to super high flow. I'm going to test my flow out here and see how it's going. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now we're going to start on our dragonfly. Basically, we're just going to trace over top of my little drawing of the dragonfly. There we go. So we're not going to be scared if we mess up because we can just put it in the water and start again as many times until we get it just right. Got to add a couple little eyes, little tail action. Do, 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 do. And then, ah, he looks a little plain. So, we're going to add some squiggles around the outside of the glass. Look at that, just free form. Looks really neat. And then we can always add to this tomorrow, after it dries, if we want. Remembering that because we're painting on the back of the glass, when we get to a signature area, we have to do it in reverse. I'm just going to put my initials on this one. So it kind of fits in with all the squiggles. Finish, 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 squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. All right, so that's all we're going to do for today. That's going to dry overnight, and then we'll add some color and some silver leaf tomorrow. We're back. Now we're ready to add the color to our dragonfly. Today we're going to make a cobalt blue dragonfly. So what we want to do is we want to make our own paint. So we're going to take a little bit of this clear polymer medium, and we're going to add it. You can just use little clear cups that you get at the grocery store. They work just fine. Or these measuring cups. And we're going to add a couple drops of blue India ink. India ink works really well for this. Just a couple drops because we want to keep it fairly transparent. Because we're going to see through the dragonfly, silver the back, and then the paint is really going to glow. So I'm going to stir this up really good. Here we go. And we're going to pour it into one of my favorite little containers. I keep these, and I'll make shades of India blue in dark, medium, and light. And they last forever. If you put a little bit of putty on the top of the squeeze nozzle, you can keep these for making all kinds of things. So we're going to pour this in here, just like that, easy peasy. And when you first put it on the glass, it won't look as dry and clear. It will take a couple days to really clear out before we can add our silver to the back. So now again we want to test our nozzle on the edge of our paper just like we did with our black. Make sure we got a good flow. The nice thing about these nozzles, if I want more flow, I can just snip off a little bit of the end. Let's do that. Let's add just a teeny bit more flow. Ooh, that's better. That's coming out nice now. All right, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze very thinly my blue into the wings of the dragonfly. And I'm going to repeat that for all four wings. You can see how fast this goes. And you don't, it doesn't have to be really accurate. And if we want, we can put a little bit of color into the tail. And that's basically it. So now we want that to dry for a couple days before we add the silver backing. We're going to continue our demo 
showing you how to silver the back of the glass dragonfly tile. Our cobalt blue has dried overnight and now we're ready to start our silver. We actually use an aluminum leaf rather than real silver leaf. The reason we do this is because real silver tarnishes or turns black over time, whereas the aluminum leaf does not. The opposite is true for gold leaf. You want to use 23.75 karat real gold leaf instead of the fake gold leaf because it will not tarnish over time. So we like to put our little glass tile down on top of another tile that has a few little rubber bumpers. This sort of holds it up. Then what we do is we take Gilder's glue that comes in these little diamond sheets and we add two or three diamonds of it to some hot water. We stir it up, takes a few seconds, and then we put the glue all over the back of the glass tile, covering all areas. Now if you think you're really missing some areas with the glue, you can take a little eyedropper and hit the areas and it will stay the little drops exactly where you put it so you make sure that you have good coverage. So now we're going to take a brush, you can use any brush but I like to use this little gilding brush, and some regular Vaseline and just put it on the tips of the brush. This allows us to pick up the silver leaf perfectly and lay it onto the glass. So we're going to just grab the very edge of this piece of silver leaf, lift it up carefully, and just drop it right onto the glass. Now we're going to resist the temptation to smooth it out as the water and electricity will do its own job. We'll come back tomorrow and put another coat on top of this to make sure all areas of the glass are covered. Now we've got the two coats of silver on the back of our glass. Look how pretty the silver catches the light and it actually shines through the cobalt blue dragonfly that we made. So all we need to do now is protect the back of the glass with some silver gilding paint. So what we want to do is put it down and I use this silver gilding paint on a little foam brush and I just paint the back of the tile. I can come back about 15 minutes later and give it another coat and tomorrowly be completely dry. Now this technique we've done a small one but this picture over here shows what I've done on a slightly larger scale where I've done two dragonflies, more colors and then framed it in this beautiful frame. This technique can be used to create wall art that you hang on the wall or if you use a metal frame you can actually hang this behind your stove as a backsplash. That's all for this tutorial. Please visit more tutorials on AskLindaPaul.com.